Let me tell you what this course is and is not, and then I'll walk you through the organization of the course. This is a course on the vocabulary of science that is aimed at developing a foundation for genuine science literacy, which I define as an ability to think critically about science and its role in modern life. This is not intended as a course in the philosophy of science, though we will cover some topics that would be covered in a philosophy of science course, like the problem of interpreting scientific theories and what it means to say that a theory or a model is true or false. But if you're looking for a course on Karl Popper and Thomas Kuhn and other classical positions in the philosophy of science, that's not this course. Nor is this intended as a course in the history of science, though we will talk about some interesting cases from the history of science. Nor is this course intended as a proper introduction to scientific methodology or the logic of scientific reasoning, though many of the topics that we'll talk about overlap with topics in these areas. These overlaps are inevitable because to properly explain how scientists use terms like theory, fact, law, hypothesis, and model, you need to understand what function these concepts serve in scientific reasoning, what work they do for us in our reasoning about the world. And that is inevitably going to push us into these other areas. One of the reasons why I like talking about the vocabulary of science is that it can serve as a way in to the history and philosophy of science, a way of motivating an interest in what might otherwise seem like very obscure topics. But our main goal here for this course is to understand the various different ways these terms are used, how these different uses can generate confusion about the nature of science, and how to avoid the sorts of confusions that, as we'll see, most people are prone to. In the course, we'll address these topics in order. So each term gets its own section. There are several videos within each section, and there are quiz questions at the end of each section. Then in the last section, I give you an opportunity to test your understanding of the main ideas and concepts of the course by analyzing a seven minute video that talks about the vocabulary of science. I also give my detailed review of that video in the final section. So that's a quick overview of the course. I'm excited to have you on board. I hope you'll join me inside.